Stampers. Welcome to the craft room. In today's video I would like to show you how I made this spool to hold some lace or ribbon or whatever it is you'd like to wrap around your spool. So let's get started. I began with this Sizzix clear circle die. If you don't have this die you could also use the originals three and a half inch circle die. That will work just fine. And I began by die cutting a couple pieces of chipboard. You can use the back of an old legal pad or any other chipboard that you have lying around. It doesn't really matter how thin or thick it is for the purposes of this project. I also went ahead and die cut four pieces of designer series paper. This is from the Comfort Cafe designer series paper. And we need four circles because we're going to be putting two on each one of these die cut chipboard pieces. So let's start that off first. I'm grabbing some Tombow Mono Multi Glue and I'm just going to start by putting this very gently around the outside rim of my circle and as I'm applying my glue I actually have the point touching the chipboard so that I don't get big globs of glue. And then I'm going to go ahead and set this floral pattern here to be the top of my spool. And then I'm going to turn that over and apply glue in the exact same manner, so around the edge here, and then making sure I've got some coverage in the middle so that nothing comes up. And this time I'm going to use this crosshatch pattern and just line that up and secure that down. So that's going to be the bottom of the top of my spool, if that makes sense, the underside of the top piece. And I'm actually going to put the floral pattern on the inside of the bottom of my spool. So we'll go ahead and adhere that piece down. And then the bottom of my spool is going to have this crosshatch pattern again. So now we have our spool top and bottom covered in designer series paper. I'm going to go and set that aside so that it has time to dry just a little bit. Then comes the secret ingredient. I know you know what this is. <laughs> this is a toilet paper roll and I've had a lot of fun trying to figure out different ways to put these to some good use and this spool is a great project for that. So I went ahead and cut another piece of designer series paper and this piece is four inches which is the height of my toilet paper roll and it's five and a half inches. And I'm going to have this cross hatch pattern showing and I just want to give this paper a little bit of a roll so that it can start to conform to the shape of my toilet paper roll and not be stubborn when I'm trying to glue it down. So I've got that curled and now what we're going to do is lightly apply our glue again. So again with the tip of my glue applicator touching my designer series paper, I'm just going to run glue on all of my edges and then also across the middle as well so that it's going to adhere to my toilet paper roll since we're covering the entire thing. So putting some glue over the entire piece and then we're just going to adhere this to our toilet paper roll. So you can start by lining that up at one end and pushing that down to adhere and then I'm just going to hold it kind of on the inside and as I'm rolling it I'm pressing it down and trying to make sure that I'm staying relatively straight as I roll. And you really want to hold down here at the edge because it has a tendency to want to lift up when that glue is still wet. So now we have our toilet paper roll covered and if you wanted to trim off any of the little edges you can. So now we have the inside of our spool and we also have our two ends and remember this is going to be the top and this is going to be the bottom so it's going to look something like that. And so what I want to do is apply glue around the perimeter, the end here, of my toilet paper roll. And you want to be relatively generous with this so that we can make sure that it sticks down. You could probably do this with hot glue as well if you were so inclined. I find that the Tombow works just fine. And then you want to do your best to try to center this into the center of that circle. And if you're concerned about some glue seeping out over the edges, you can just take a little Q-tip and pick up that little extra glue so that you can clean up any of those edges so it's not all sticky. 
And then we're going to go ahead and apply our glue to this top part of the toilet paper roll. Again, being nice and generous with that glue so that we have enough to actually adhere things down. And then what I find easiest is to go ahead, since this is going to be my top, I want it adhered to this side, I actually just turn everything over because I have a better chance of centering things when I'm going this way than blindly putting it down on the top. So we're just going to go ahead and set that down and shift that around a little bit. I've made quite the little gluey mess underneath here, which might be hard for you to see. But again, my Q-tip is nice and handy, so I'm just going to come in and pick up any of that excess glue. So I'm just going to finish cleaning up that glue. If it does get sticky, again, you can go ahead and use your adhesive remover to take out that adhesive. And then we just want to give that a chance to dry a little bit. While it's drying, I actually like to do some of my embellishing on the top of my spool. So to begin with, I'm actually going to bring in some champagne glass glitter. And again, we're going to use our Tombow glue. You could also use your crystal effects if you want. And I'm just going to add a bead of glue around the perimeter the outside of my circle here and you can do this in bits and pieces so I do about halfway and then I apply my glitter so let me bring in a scrap piece of paper I find that that's a better way to apply my glitter that way I can sprinkle it on there it can all dump onto that scrap piece of paper which is just great I can tap that off and then what's nice is you can take your scrap piece of paper create a little fold and then pour that all right back into your glitter container and then we're going to go around and just finish the other half of the top of this spool and we'll go ahead and glitter that half as well just as we did the first half so now we have our glitter applied our spool is together and it's time to do a little bit more decorating on the top and I've pulled together a few elements already I went ahead and punched this 2 and 3 8 inch scallop circle using that punch, the 2 and 3 8 inch scallop circle punch. So I'm just applying a little bit of glue and then adhering that to the center of the top of my spool. Then I went ahead and used my blossom punch and I punched out three flowers from this same designer series paper and then two flowers from the neutral stack designer series paper and I spritzed them with a little bit of water crumpled them all up and then I went ahead and put an antique brad in the center to create that element for the top and before I adhere that down I want to put a piece of crochet trim underneath and I'm going to adhere this using some glue dots and now it's time to adhere our large flower down. I'm going to use some leftover pop-up glue dots that I have. So now we have all of our top elements completed. Next, I'm actually going to bring in some antique lace. And to do this, I actually don't adhere it down at the beginning. I just hold it with my finger and then do my best to just start wrapping it around. Sometimes it's hard to get it started, although that one was pretty easy. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this all the way around. And I'm going to work my way up my spool. And then I'm going to work my way back down the spool until I have this fully covered. And I'll be right back. So I just finished rolling all of my lace and I'm just sticking a little pin in here so that it doesn't unravel. That's a nice big roll of lace. The last thing that I did was create a little embellishment. I hand cut a tag. I actually created a little tag template for myself and cut this one out to match. And I'm just going to secure that on there with a pin. I happen to have this larger head pin that's orange which is kind of cute to match the Cajun craze. So there you have it, a really fun way to combine some chipboard and designer series paper with a toilet paper roll to create an adorable spool for your ribbons or antique lace. I hope you've enjoyed this project and I look forward to seeing you again very soon here in the craft room.